something's coming out of my head. <laughs> so today is a waxing crescent moon. We are just coming out of a new moon. So if you haven't set some goals for six months, you can still do that. And the Moon Cycle Memoirs Journal is still available. So if you would like that, this is my manifesting with the moon. It is an intention setting guidebook and it is a really beautiful, fun journal with the different ways to track your progress and what you are wanting in this life in these next six months. So either way, we are in this phase of the moon cycle where it's a time to really plan and prepare. So I want you to take a moment to ask yourself, what is it that I am planning and preparing for? Or what are the nudges that are guiding me to plan and prepare? What am I to pay attention to today? As a little robin visits me right outside of the window. That's beautiful. Letting us know that spring will bring all new things affirming that six months from now we'll see some really good changes and shifts. Okay, I'm going to ask that you're choosing one, two, or three. Let's keep it really simple. If you're choosing number one, I'm choosing from the top of the deck. The card is the Unity card. So this is Archangel Sandalfin. This Archangel works with children, so maybe there's something with children on your mind. Um, this is also a card that tells us to seek out mentorship. Now, my Ignite Your Intuition class is coming up. It's starting in December. We meet on Saturdays and we meet once a month for five months with a wrap-up class and it is a way to ignite your intuition without any tools. That's what's really cool about this class. Now if you're choosing this position and you're someone who wants to ignite your intuition and connect with spirit in a more meaningful way and learn what you can do to develop that tool then I would certainly consider that class. The link is right down below. That is a a plug, but it's also, it's really honestly where I'm guided to share today. Um, if you're choosing this position, because it's about learning something new and seeking out a mentor. It's also about mentor, uh, being a mentor. So part of the reason that I have my spiritual mentorship program that just began, we begin every six months because mentoring is something, um, or I should say being a mentee is something that I have always done. And it has always helped me tremendously. So if there's something that you are wanting to do in this life, um, you want to find the people that are that inspire you and that um, you know that really are. Um, you look at them and you think, "Wow, that's so empowering that they did that." And surround yourself with more of those people. That's what you can do to start planning this next phase. Now, if you're choosing position two, I shuffled again, choosing from the middle of the deck. The card you get is the Seven of Earth. So this tells us that you can begin to plant seeds. So think about who you want to be from six months from now and really start to take action towards that. I'm also going to say in this position, you might be um, someone who's affected by that itty bitty S committee, the worry team that's up in your mind. And that can be one of the easiest ways to create an aesthetic environment in your body. And so I really want you to pay attention to um, what your mind is doing. If you're choosing this position, I'm going to say, that any worry that you have is really unwarranted and unnecessary. And if you need help with that, I can help you with that. Reach out to me for that one too. Now, if you're choosing position three today, let's also kind of choose towards the end of the deck there. You get the five of air. The five of air is also known as the five of clubs, or it can also be the five of swords. In um, traditional tarot, this is the angel tarot by Radley Valentine, by the way. Um, so the five of air tells us that there's some choices that maybe you have made recently and they're not bad choices. They're not um, unnecessary. In fact, they might have been quite necessary so that you can learn from them. And so what this card really says is to revisit that situation, revisit everybody's mind and where everybody was coming from and the different perspectives and start to plan differently according to that. There was growth that happened. So this is really affirmative in terms of planning and moving forward. What action steps can you take to grow based on what you have learned in your most recent past? So whatever you're choosing today, I certainly hope that this helps. Again, if you are into igniting your intuition with zero tools and all love and all connection with spirit, check out IYI. I'd love to have you join us. And if you are a platinum 
or a gold member, um, you get that. And if you're a silver member, you get a really discounted rate, uh, rate. So reach out to me about that. Have a good week. Bye.